Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of RX English. So today is the big day. You guys saw the introduction of all these new innovative techno technological advanced kayaks that Old Town is bringing out. And today we get to demo this bad boy right here, the orange kayak right behind me. This model here is the Old Town Sportsman 120 Autopilot. This is their top model that has all the advanced GPS technology with the motor, all that good stuff. I know a lot of you guys are pretty excited to see what this is all about. So we're gonna get it on the water, demo it. I'm gonna give you my honest review on the water today. So you guys stay tuned. Water bed effect. Hey Nick, hold on. Stand at the edge and I'm gonna get back up there and jump. <laughs> Man, can you act grown up please? No. Do you know I have boats yet? Oh wow, you hear that motor running, God. That is pretty cool. And that's, that right there folks, it's Old Town uh, Sportsman 120. 120 or 106? 106 Power by Minkota. 106 Power by Minkota. That's, that's what I'm looking for. And that's gonna be after this one though. But this is, it's the main cheese today, Sportsman 120 Autopilot. All right, put this back there. So on your right hand side, you open up that dry hatch. Dry hatch, you okay. You have your iPilot remote and the kill switch. Kill switch. You want right. to connect the kill switch to your PFD somewhere. Okay. So that means if you fall out, yeah. this isn't going to go running on you. Okay, so we are connecting the kill switch and then we are going to connect this to right there like so. So, perfect. All right, here's our remote. We'll put this kind of around our neck, maybe. All right, I can take it off if we need to. And then we are deploying this down. Is that correct? It's plugged in. Plugged in, go ahead and pull okay. it until it beeps. There okay. it is, it's beeping. Beat it down. Put it down, lock it in like that. Okay. And then you can just store that in here. Perfect. All right, so uh -huh. once it beeps, yep. it's all good to go. If you want to okay. pull it up, all you have to do is pull this gotcha. feet up and let it go. Okay. Be aware that you'll need these triangles to line up. Okay. If they're not lined up, it won't pop up all the way. You can always twist it if you need to. Gotcha. So okay. Am I steering with the, the so pedals right here? So you can right steer here? with the foot brace rudder oh, and as I can well as this. the iPilot remote. What we suggest, right. if you're going a fairly long distance, your rudder's in right now. Yeah. Use uh, your foot brace rudder steering system to start okay. and then this for when you're in pretty tight. Gotcha. Okay. If you do it together, you can spin 360 degrees. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Perfect. So now you want to hit the check mark. Check mark. Turn it on. Okay. 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 All right. So you're good to go. Your rudder's down. So as yep. soon as I push you off, you can go ahead and hit that button. Okay. It'll start. Here's your speed controls. Uh -huh. Here's your rudder control. Uh -huh. All right. Your spot lock. Gotcha. Um, and then your autopilot there. Okay, no, no worries. Home screen, okay, Home gotcha. Screen, yeah. Okay, yeah, push me off. I got it, I got it. All right, sir, have fun. Here we go. Oh my God. Hold on, I'm trying to reverse. I'm trying to reverse, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me figure this out. Okay, 0.3 miles per hour, so it is running. As you can see, the autopilot remote. So, how do I go reverse? How do you do reverse, Al Alex? Oh, shoot, okay. All right, so there we go. Now we figured that out. All right, cool. Okay, it's getting a little bit used to because I'm not used to, used to this, but uh, very interesting. I am going in a reverse circle. I'm going 1.2, 1.1 miles per hour reverse. I'm going to position myself so I can get out towards the middle of the ICW. Sweet, man. Sweet. Okay, so turning it around, going this way. Wow, this is very intuitive. Okay, it's just going to get a little bit getting used to, folks, because uh, I'm just not. I'm I'm used to steering with a rudder, but I am actually using the motor itself and. I know I'm going off topic, but this storage room is amazing. 
Look at this storage room, man. I'm just like, look at this. I'm just chilling. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. All right, let me speed it up a little bit. So we're at five and a half. Wow, this is a this is pretty cool, dude. <laughs> and we are going to reverse real fast so we don't hit him. Wow, that's smooth. Smooth reverse. And it's very stable too, so I'm like jerking left and right going reverse. And I don't feel tipsy at all, and I am at the highest seat setting that you guys can see right here. So we're going to turn that around. Okay, good deal. Sweet. Alright, so we're going to take spot lock off. It has kept us in the place for about a good two minutes. I have not drifted anywhere. So pretty impressive right there. I'm going to take that off. And then we're going to turn back around to the boat right there. And we're going to get some bait. Alright guys, so got kind of oriented with the iPilot remote. So let's, let's see if we can actually take off in it and uh, see how fast it goes. Here we go. Turn it up all the way. It's gonna be a little bit dangerous, folks. You know me. Oh my god, it is going. Holy smoke. Okay, so it's probably best. That's probably best if we let the if we're gonna go fast from what I'm learning so far with the brief time on, we need to put in deploy the rudder. Which the rudder is deployed. Okay, so let's adjust our rudder pedals here. All right, now that we got the rudder rudder situated, let's see if we can increase the speed, see how well she does. All right, I know I'm going a little bit crazy. I should be going slow, but you know, you know, I know you guys want to see this top speed, which I believe is probably going to hit five miles per hour, just judging how fast we're going right now. Level 10, it says 3.6, but we are going against the current. So the thing that I'm noticing is how quiet this trolling motor is. Uh, 45 pounds, I believe it is, uh, strength, and it's it's cruising. I am just, I'm going, and it's uh, pretty easy. So there's this feature on this uh, autopilot called North uh, Straight. So if you hit that, it's going to take me straight where the boat is pointing. No matter how bad the current is or how much wind is uh, rolling around, I'm just going to go straight. So. And if I want to cancel, I just hit that in the north again and there, boom, done. But that's a pretty cool feature of like, if I want to, if I want to go from here to like a different part of the marsh or bay or lake and just hit that button point, well, point my boat straight to that location I want to hit, hit that north button, it'll take me straight there. All right, ladies and gents, what's apparent so far with this boat is how smooth and quiet it is. It took me a little bit, probably a good 10 minutes to get used to the controls and how to control the uh, this boat, the motor, especially using this auto uh, iPilot remote right here that comes with the boat. But so far, so good. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, it's cruising. I would say it, it was it's as fast as my Johnny boat, um, and I clocked my Johnny boat. I think around five miles per hour. But we'll see when we get into the Galveston waters when I have this boat on the channel. How fast can it go down the ICW to the marsh? All right. So the rudder system back there is a brand new rudder that's humongous i'm talking about it is freaking big so adding it to this boat is going to make it very very agile and very i mean you can just turn on a dime type deal so i'm really impressive on the the reaction of the boat when you push down on these rudder pedals and how how well it reacts so that's pretty cool i don't know guys it's, it's a lot of fun it's just i'm just look at this i'm like my legs are crossed I'm just chilling, going, easy controls with the boat right here. Like wherever I need to go, it'll turn. So really, really impressive. A lot of technology in this boat. Um, I'm really excited to test this out in the Galveston Freeport area and the saltwater inshore marsh fishing that I like to do over oyster beds. That's gonna be another good testing ground to see if this will, how will it handle in those oyster beds, a shallow part of uh, you know where we like to fish in the marsh. And on top of that, um, can it handle the rough salt water, that dirty, brackish, muddy water that we have down in our coastal areas? So I'm really looking forward to see the results on that for sure. Let's go and 
power it all well, well actually let's let's slow it down we're slowing it down all the way to zero to half a mile an hour i guess and then we're going to pull our rudder up and then we are going to start standing and see if we can control so as you can tell this is on the high position and the boat itself um is very wide lots and lots of space uh, so let's let's see let's see how easy it's stand up oh yeah wow there you go folks look at that super super easy to stand up and i am just cruising along using the motor to guide me so very impressive so far very very impressive there you go look at this guys look look at me standing up using this autopilot right here <laughs> it's a lot of fun so far so good i am very very impressed with the abilities of this boat right here check this out standing up look how much space i have it's pretty stable i mean i mean any boat you stand up it, it'll be a little bit tipsy at first but you'll get used to it and um yeah it's it's great so far great great all right folks let's crank up the motor speed while we're standing that'll be a testament on how stable this boat is i have to get used to the the rudder you know what let me let me engage the rudder now let's see if that makes a difference I'm gonna put the rudder down it's pretty straight and then we'll we'll do this again all right we're standing up got the autopilot on look at that that's and imagine you're casting right and you're working this you can even go slower so I'm going to go slower and then I am going to put push point my boat directly that way hit north and bam look at that it's going to go straight at the speed and you're just trolling and you're casting you're casting see if you can catch a fish along these docks here or the sh or the marsh grass or the bay like a reef or a drop off that you know that's there uh, this is amazing 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 stuff right here that's pretty cool man how you can just stand and just cruise <laughs> <laughs> touch base on another thing look how much space I have in the back hopefully they'll come up with their own crate system in the future um, but the seat the seat is another thing that I really want to touch base with. It's uh, updated, very, very comfortable, very padded. The problem I had with the Predator PDO before was that bar and the seating, the seat padding wasn't as thick. It was comfortable, but it wasn't like Hobie out that comfortable. But this one, money. It's like sitting on pillows. It's hard to explain, but they did a lot of improvements on the seat. And this is one thing that when they asked me personally about the Predator PDO, I told them, hey, man, uh, the seat needs to be improved. It needs to be uh, softer. It needs to be able to handle bigger guys like me so we can sit in the uh, the kayak all day long if we need to. So, I mean, they, man, they, I'm telling you, Old Town listens to us. That's that's crazy. Hey, you guys are catching fish already? No, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> all right, I see how it is. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's spot, let's, let's spot lock ourselves right here. And I'm going, what'd you catch though? Seriously? A cuda. A cuda? Wow, okay. Get right up in the mangroves. What did they hit you on? Live bait? Yeah, live bait. Circle up. Yeah, let's throw away swim bait first. If nothing on swim bait, we'll definitely throw some live bait. And you got hit too on live bait? Yeah. We're going to work these mangroves here. I'm standing up. I have spot lock on. So therefore, I am in place. I am not moving. This is the exact spot that I... I locked myself in and it's not moving. So really cool technology from this boat. I'm gonna work these mangroves for a little bit. We're gonna to move closer towards the edge there, take spot lock off, reorient re orientate our motor. Spot lock ourselves right here. This is the money spot. <laughs> this is the money spot. I do love how I can just troll the shoreline and uh, really work the bait under these mangroves. That just shows how much control this boat has with this remote control. Pretty, pretty cool. There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. All right, ladies and gents, check it out. First fish on the autopilot, a barracuda. I've never caught one of these. They stink, man, but dude, that's awesome. Look at this, man, little dude, but my PB, check it out. Look at these, look at these chompers. That's crazy. All right, we're gonna let him go. See you later, bud. Yes. 
They smell like uh, a mix between uh, ladyfish and mullet. That's the best way to describe it. They stink. My time is up with the uh, uh, oh, Sportsman Autopilot 120. I had a blast. I think, I think, honestly, Old Town has a game changer. Um, it is technologically advanced. So many features, especially that spot lock. That spot lock is money. I can see how tournament guys and people that just love to hold spots when there's a school of reds or something, uh, quietly with a trolling motor at that one spot and just thoroughly fish that area. This kayak was designed for the avid angler that, I mean, okay, avid probably more above, a step above the avid angler, like the serious angler that, you know, needs every single advantage to win that tournament, get that big fish or whatever it is that um, a very, you know, active angler does. But I am very, very happy to report that, I, you know, I am going to get one for the channel. And um, I don't know if I'm going to release this video before or after. Um, it's kind of, I don't know how I'm going to chron chronologically order it, but stay tuned guys, more and more footage coming. But dude, so far, first impressions, and I am not BSing. This is a boat that is going to win a lot of awards. <laughs> it's so much fun. All right, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.